All right. Good morning, guys. Um, I've been wanting to do this for a while. Um, I'm going to read through this book, My Dog, My Buddha, by uh, Kimberly Artley. She is a uh, trainer out of West Virginia, I believe, or Virginia. I'm not 100% sure. Um, as I said in the post, hey, sweet girl. Um, I don't know her personally. I've talked to her several times over the years over Messenger and things like that. Very, very positive woman. Um, does a lot in the rescue com community as well as a lot in the women's community. And um, like I said, dog training for years and years was a very uh, male-dominated uh, profession. Um, I personally... Um, I've had the uh, pleasure of working with a lot of very, very uh, talented female trainers. Uh-uh. Learn a place. Um, but she, uh, she really uh, does a lot for um, for women in the industry. So, uh-uh. So I'm going to work on uh, some impulse control here with Luna. Luna, down. While I read a little bit, um, the book is not broke up into chapters. It's broke up into uh, a table of lessons, and there are 100 lessons. Um, I have to excuse my puppy, and they're barking. So, uh, could have done this quietly or um, uh, like this while I'm at work. Um, I chose to do it this way. Hopefully, it works out well. Um, but I'm going to go through um, this first one, and I'll just do a little bit, um, kind of go through the uh, the forward, and then from there um, I'll do uh, several lessons a day, and uh, hopefully we can have some great conversations, and um, this will be the first of many books that we can do. Luna, Luna, place. Down. Down. So, let's get started. Uh, very nice. When she, uh, when I ordered this book, she, uh, she wrote something in here for me and, uh, signed it and all that kind of good stuff. So, just cool stuff to have. So, the foreword. For the past 16 years, I've dealt with hundreds of dogs with a myriad of issues. So, okay. So okay. Luna, place. Down. Stay. I've dealt with it, hundreds of dogs with a myriad of issues. Each of these cases had had its share of challenges, rewards, disappointments, and victories. No two cases have ever been alike, nor has the strategy I've created to resolve each issue. Only one thing has been consistent. Fixing the human remains the most difficult part of the equation. Agree with that wholeheartedly. Uh, dog behavioralist and life coach Kimberly Artley has created the ultimate guide to building a life of balance and purpose. She cuts through the nonsense and arrives at the critical conclusion that our dogs are a mirror of exactly who we are. Straightforward and honest. Kimberly leads us to the truth about the impact our energy has on our dog's behavior and emotional health. Never before has, has there been a book that not only identifies our weaknesses but tells us how to empower ourselves right back to strength. Although brutally honest, Kimberly's approach is compassionate, often citing her own failed experience as a catalyst for change. My Dog, My Buddha is a game changer for anyone intent on changing the direction of their life and regaining their dog's trust and respect. Open your heart and mind and see where your jewels of wisdom and this beautiful book will take you. I promise you won't be sorry. All right, we're going to move on to preface. When I'm coaching an individual who's struggling to figure out what their purpose is in life, I always suggest that they think back to their childhood and try to remember what it was that they did where they lose all sense of time when they were in their ultimate bliss. For me, it was when I was with my dogs, for sure. What filled them with so much joy, satisfaction, and comparable fulfillment? For me, it was animals. <laughs> um, uh-uh. Down. 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 Animals were my comfort, joy, and passion. I surrounded myself with them. If I was at a party, I was that girl that hung out with the 
resident pet. I do neighborhood rounds with my World Wildlife Fund magazine, knocking on doors, educating my neighbors, and collecting donations for their cause. When my envelopes got full of change, I taped them up, covered them with stamps, and mailed them off with lots of heart, big love, and full of pride. I still to this day wonder if those coin-filled envelopes ever made it. Skippy. At nine years age, of age, I was blessed with the best Christmas present ever, a Springer Spaniel puppy. I named him Skippy. Skippy was white with reddish brown spots all over, freckles on his face, and a spot on the side that was shaped like a heart. He was my pride and joy. Although Skippy had the sweetness disposition, he was a total nightmare, and it wasn't his fault. We weren't meeting his needs as a dog and certainly didn't put in the time, effort, and energy to guide, teach, and way show Skippy. A uh, way show. Skippy was unfairly labeled as a holy terror and was sent away by my mother because of it. I came home from school one day and Skippy was nowhere to be found. He was gone. To say I was absolutely crushed is a total understatement. Tucker and Lobo. Fast forward 18 years and enter a new teacher. My first sole responsibility dog, Lobo. Did I know what I was doing? Not really, but I was eager to learn. Lobo went everywhere with me and was a favorite at our local haunts. I made it a point to expose him to various environments and scenarios, teach him commands and tricks, and did my best to help him become as well-rounded as he could be. A few years after his arrival, a new pup entered our pack, Tucker. Lobo was an amazing big brother to Tuck and took him right under his paw. But not soon after, my marriage went sour and a switch in my Lobo flicked. Who was once a very social, happy-go-lucky dog became incredibly protective and aggressive. What was happening? I spent every last dollar on trainers, moving through six of them. The sixth was a board and train program where he would live with the trainer for two weeks. While Lobo responded well to his training, and new surrounding, he quickly reverted back to his protective tendencies and aggressive behaviors as soon as he returned to me. Um, two weeks, uh, I don't know where she sent her dog. Um, I'm guessing this was a long time ago. Two weeks is a great starter program for dogs that don't have aggression issues and behavioral things like that. Um, I do them all the time. It's a great foundation. But when you're dealing with aggression and things like that, two weeks is usually when I start to see um, things just starting to change. So it's uh, with aggression, I've always done six weeks. Uh-uh, place, place, down, uh-uh, down. So it's very different, down. Working on down stays and things like that when you're actually sitting on the ground at the dog's level. So it's not uh, uncommon for her to get up still need her to learn down place is place regardless um, i exhausted all of my resources attempts to place him and find even more help sadly he ended up biting someone and the decision was made to have him put down i've never cried so hard in my life it took me many many years to stop blaming myself for this and still remains a daily process lobo paid the ultimate price because i couldn't keep my shit together he stepped up because I wasn't and didn't. The divorce and its many offshoots and the challenges surrounding my best friend, my deeply and dearly beloved dog, had left me feeling 